Welcome to a Fiberific live craft and chat. Well, it's been a morning and I'm so sorry for those of you who've been waiting in the live chat for me to, you know, appear. Um, I just realised in all my running around after the internet crashed and everything went here that I forgot to put my light on in the background. So hopefully it's not too dark. If it's too dark, let me know. I'll sort it. Um, Okay, I'm just having a quick read through the chat. You guys are hilarious, honestly. I love Thursdays. It's Thursday here. I know it's not Thursday for everybody, but I love Thursday. She's probably worn out by her puppy. That sounds about right. Um, I'm not sure if any of you are over on Instagram, but um, I just posted a whole pile of a whole pile of Insta stories of Louis shenanigans while I was setting up this morning before everything went. Um, I don't know what's going on. I'm actually having to live stream from my Wi-Fi and uh, my hotspot on my mobile phone because the house internet is just, it's not being, it's not, it's not being good. It's not being good to say the least. Um, I'm assuming everybody can hear me and see me and all that sort of stuff. Um, yeah. So today I'm powered by tea. So I was so organized. I've got my tea. I've got the double camera. I've got something here to do. And then just as I went and saw, I went and made my cup of tea and saw the array of destruction that Louis had done. Um, and I, you know, grabbed photos and all that sort of stuff. And then when I came back out at like three minutes to live stream time, everything in here had crashed. So it was just totally like, oh my God, what has happened? It's like, Pfft. so welcome to my morning. Mm. There are lots of new names in the live stream this morning. Lady Bees Urbanstead, welcome to the chat. Um, lots of names that I see every week. You guys are awesome. Freaky and Kathy, Sally, Holly, like there's so many of you already. Oh, don't kick the thing, Chantel, don't kick the things. Um, so many of you are in here. I'm just having, because I haven't set any of my screens up because I just was like, oh my God, they're working. As long as they're working, that's enough. Um, back to actual live chat. Kim got an ad in Japanese. Wow. Um, Lindsay, you know what? Me too. <laughs> Me too. Um, you know, like, and this is, this is the thing. We are live streaming. And sometimes when we live stream, it doesn't go how you want. I'm, uh, as someone said, nice bangs. Thank you. I'm adjusting to them. I don't know how I feel about them. And they get in my face and they get in my eyes and I just push them out of the way. So then I don't even have them. Um, my internet is bad. It must be Queensland. Gail, it could well be the fact that it's Queensland. It could be that my yard is a muddy quagmire today after all that rain we had yesterday. Um, so last week I was a mess. So I was like not live streaming. I went and got a massage. You know, like when you get a massage and you think, oh, so relaxing. I'm going to feel great. Hmm. So it turns out that Chantelle's little body was just all these rocks and boulders. And she did warn me. She did, she did say I was going to feel worse the next day because she did a lot of pressure point work, which I, I agreed to. And she told me the risks. Um, and I have been suffering. Let's just go with that. Let's go with being suffering. To the point where yesterday was my, my, I had another massage yesterday and you know, you lay there and she's just like, oh my God. And I'm like, what? She goes, your back is covered in bruises. Was that me? And I'm like, probably. She's like, what? And I'm like, I told you I bruise really easily. And she was just like, 
we're not going to do any pressure point work today because I don't want to push on your bruises. And I'm like, okay, I'm okay with this. This is great. So yesterday's massage was a little lighter, not as intense. It was still pretty intense, but not as intense. And I feel a lot better today than even I did yesterday, let alone last Thursday was just like, yep, no, no, not happening. So I'm having to do things like learn how to walk again. <laughs> Because my legs are like, hello, we do things differently now that our muscles are loosened. Um, absolutely 100% qualified, very qualified. Um, yeah, totally qualified. Also a sports physio at the same time. So yeah, totally qualified. Why are there so few thumbs up? I don't know. Like, I, I don't know the answer to that question. You guys have to look amongst yourselves. Maybe they don't like it here, Kim. It's so simple. Maybe they don't like it here. Um, so getting a massage makes you look like you was in a rough and tumble fight. Pretty much. Yeah, but yeah, that's pretty much the same as if anybody touches me. It looks like I've been in a rough and tumble fight. Like, my brother used to get in so much trouble. <laughs> like, mommy left a bruise. I just bruise easily. Um, so, yeah. So, um, anyway... What have you all been working on? I've been like a mess for a week. So I haven't been really doing much other than just posting out orders. So let me know in the chat, what craft have you been working on? I've been popping up some things over on Instagram. Um, if you guys miss me through the week, you can go and check out my Instagram reels, which I've started doing. They are a little more um, broadly crafting, if that makes sense, because I decided I was having to think about how to, you know, do I do it on brand and make it fiber craft only? No, because I'm not one thing. I'm not one thing. So I decided, do you know what? As long as it's craft, also the dog, maybe some food, but mostly craft, then I'm okay with it. So there is some sewing stuff. There's some adventures of my blankets. There are some knitting, there's some crochet, there's some spindling, it's kind of like an extension of our YouTube channel here, you know, like kind of like an extension. So because I, we do, we all do so many things. So I'm just having, a, now that things are starting to come through, um, Kathy says, of course, we miss you through the week. Oh, you're amazing, Kathy. So Lauren's working on some pinhole cast on toe up socks. Awesome. How is that going? I'm using a pinhole cast on for um, a, a blanket square. And I enjoy, I like it personally. But, you know, you've only got to do it twice. I've got to do it like 11 million times. Um, Kerry's knitting and knitting and knitting. Okay. Um, but what, Kerry? What are you knitting? Or can't you say just in case somebody hears? Um, Holly says, I've been working hard on finishing a lacy, lacy crocheted shawl for a friend. I'm putting the fringe on tonight. You know what? I had to stop for a second there because I read I'm putting it in the fridge tonight and I'm thinking, is there something I don't know? Is there is there a special thing about crochet lace? Like I know if I was doing it in mohair and I need to frog back, freezer, absolutely. But I was just like, what? And then I reread it. And then, no, no, you wrote fringe. I just read it wrong. It's all good. Um... So Lauren's loving the pinhole. That's awesome. Um, Rebecca is getting ready to do some gardening and fishing. She's ordering some new things, project kits, micrograms kits. I don't, what's micrograms kits? Spindles and fibers. Awesome. Jen Deal, hello. Welcome to the chat. Yarn Dragons Creations. Hello, hello. Um, Lindsay, I've got basic stockinette cow going. I messed up the lace shawl I was knitting and frogged it. Yeah, it's, it's a way, it's a, it's a new blocking with, yeah. Um, sometimes we do just have to make that decision, don't we? And just go, you know what? I'm pulling it out. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna start again and I'm gonna do it another, another way. <laughs> oh dear. Um, because I've been crocheting for 60 years. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Um, so Lisa's, Lisa's knitting on the Habitation Pro. Do you guys, like most of you already know this, but there's some new names. If you want to go over into the Fibrific Fun Zone group on Facebook, and I would love to see some pics of where you're up to. It'll help me 
you know, like today I'm moving, but I can already feel like I'm getting stiff again. So probably tomorrow will be a day where I'm like just social media rearing. That's a word. Social, social media rearing. Tea time, I believe. Tea. Tea is going to work for me. Mm. So I would love to see some photos of what you're working on. That would be great. Or if, you, if they're on Instagram, tag me so I can go and have a look at them. That would be awesome. But if you put them in the group, then we can all look at them and we can all ooh and ah. Um, and Chaos Creator said, <laughs> she's just, make sure you answer the questions to join. If you don't answer the questions, we don't let you in the group. It's that simple. Um, and even if we're like, oh, they look like they've got knitting in their, bo in their you know, feed and things like that. We're like, you know what? They didn't answer the questions. They can't come in the group. So you just get to sit in the not in the group limbo. Um, Rebecca says autocorrect, microgreens kids. Awesome. I'm actually looking around my yard, like leading into winter. Good job, Chantel. Um, thinking, do you know what? It's time I want my, I used to have a really big herb garden and I did a lot of cooking from scratch and, um, I've been really slack late. Well, I'm not slack, focused on other things. Let's go with that. Focused on other things. And I haven't been doing as much of that stuff. Whereas the other night I wanted to go, I wanted to make curried sausages, right? Curried sausages, supposed to be the simple, simple, quick dinner. Mm, no, not if you've got no curry powder and you know, the shops are closed and you can't go and get any. So I was just like, well, I've made curry powder before. Like surely I've still got all the ingredients. So, and that's what I did. I sat down, I went through an old recipe book. I grabbed my old recipe for curry powder. It's more like a mixing list than a recipe because I just used all my dried and crushed stuff. In saying that, I did have to blend up my own um, coriander seeds because I didn't have any crushed coriander seeds. I only had the actual seeds. So anyway, so I'm getting back into all of that sort of stuff. And I realized I made a, I made a potato and leek soup that I feel like we're going to be eating for the next 14 years because I made so much of it. Um, and I had to buy chives and I had to buy thyme. And I was just like, I don't remember paying this much for herbs. And then I realized, no, it's because you didn't pay for herbs. You grew them, you slacker. So now I need to go on to back on to growing my own herbs. So I've got to work out how to do it so the chickens don't trash it. Or Louie. Louie will probably eat it too, just for fun. I'm just going to scroll back here. Rose Hip Island, welcome to the chat. Um, I have three jumpers on the needles, two pairs of socks and some other stuff. So there's always knitting happening. Finished a jumper last night. Now, did you finish or did you finish knitting? Because this is a conversation we have here at Fiberific. Um, because like you can finish your knitting, but then you've got to weave in your ends and you've got to block it or wash it and, you know, block it and all that kind of stuff. So is it like, like, like ready, ready, ready? Or, or is the knitting finished? Cause I've got tons of stuff where the knitting's finished, but they're still in a pile. <laughs> Oops. Um, oh no, Talia, not as much craft as I'd like. Oh gosh. I hate that. I can't say that loud cause my head will start crawling just, you know, in sympathy. Um, Carrie's down the rabbit hole working on toilet training. Snoopy, have you got a new puppy, Carrie? I haven't seen. Like, I missed something. I've missed something. Hello. Um, where are we? I'm puppy wrangling and washing from Deb Deer. I saw photos of your puppy. We are seriously contemplating getting Louie a friend, right? Because now that we've lost Snowy, um, we think Louie might need a friend. The catch is... I don't know if that's going to mean Louie's going to have a friend and they'll calm down or all of a sudden we've got a like dog gang that just run around terrorizing us because I mean it could go either way honestly with Louie. You put Louie into his little grey hoodie that he's got and all of a sudden he's like an Eshe dog you know like he's going to roll you for your blanket so you know it's like do we do can I risk that it's just going to be two of that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um, Freaky says, I was in a live today and a guest said she made a jumper and asked in chat, was it a male or female jumper? Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, Chaos Creator says, there's currently two people in limbo. Yep. Absolutely. Um, Kim says, I have a million woolly seeds packets. 
Me too, but all of the ones that we've got ungerminated are lavender. So if anyone's local and wants a, like an absolute ton of lavender seeds, like hit me up because they're not going to grow here. <laughs> Game Widow says, I seasoned a roast chook with a mix of spice from the bottom of the spices Tupperware container. It was delicious. Like random spice. It could be anything. It could be curry it could be cumin it could be cinnamon we don't know <laughs> oh my gosh chaos creator yeah because i finished my cardi eight months before i seamed it absolutely um let me i'm just here well seasoned bird sounds fantastic a uh, rose hip says it's knit and soaking ends will happen eventually awesome rose hip island that's awesome get it in for its post knitting soak um you mean your daughter isn't a friend enough well my daughter has to go to school so louis like like right now louis locked in the house with the craft room door closed hello um check out my insta stories for why um and yeah so he's inside by himself right now and when like the hours i'm doing school run and when i'm going you know like there's times when i can't have the puppy with me or i can't be in, inside and he's still quite young and he's still quite playful and he gets a little sad. He's getting better. He doesn't cry usually, um, but he does, you know, like he could use a friend. I've been spinning a lot of our fire and water event now. I've been spinning for a lot of our fire and water event now looking for Samoyed and Keyshawn dog fur. Okay. All right. I'm not, I'm not a fan of spinning the old dog dog, but. I definitely understand that there are people who like to. Um, I'm just keeping up the chat. You guys are going hard today. Um, Sally says, I haven't done much crafting since retreat. In fact, I didn't get much crafting done either. No, no. I don't think any of us really got heaps done there. Um, I definitely got a, like nearly a full, nearly one full spindle over three days. Like seriously, that's not much. Um, Freaky says, I've not used Instagram much now. I'll have to snoop. Yeah, he trashed some stuff and I'm a bit sad about it. Some of it was the last of its kind. Sad. Um, Casey, how are you going? I'm halfway through my second rocket tea. It was in a timeout for a month, but now the mistakes are tinked and I've passed where I was up to when I couldn't unsee it anymore. Absolutely. <laughs> Chaos says, I did heaps. There were four empty bottles. Yep. <laughs> Um, we game winner says we were busy chatting. Absolutely, we we're busy, and this is the thing like, especially this fiber, the fiberific retreat we just had, it was definitely meant to be a get together. There was no workshops planned, there was no, it was just bring your craft, you've got space to spread out. If you were putting a blanket together, you had enough room to lay it out and not have to worry about stopping to make dinner or anything like that because it was all catered you could just work on your own craft at your own pace in a in a comfy situation catered away from the hubbub of normal life and chat with crafty people also probably drink more wine than usual but i mean that happens sometimes right um and that was the thing i had a fantastic time at retreat and i can't wait for the next one so say retreat me in the chat if you would love to attend a retreat, like not just a fiberific retreat, I know not all of you are in the, the vicinity. So, but retreat me in the, in the chat, if you would attend a retreat one day, if you could. Um, Rebecca Nelson bought herself a new spindle for her birthday. That is awesome. Self birthday presents are the best. Um, Woolies is one of our supermarket chains. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh, Freaky says, I hear Woolies and think of a yarn shop. I get that. Absolutely. Retreat me from Sally. Sally is just like, retreat me. Um, Look at this. You guys are all awesome. Treat me to a retreat. Retreat me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we could tap into other folks' expertise to learn things. It was really lovely. And that was the thing that I was sort of, I was a little nervous, okay? Because every retreat I've attended, every single retreat and i've been to a lot there has been some sort of 
workshops or plan of classes or demos or, or whatever. And I felt really weird running a retreat that didn't do that. And I thought, oh, you know, next time I'll make sure I do. But this time around, I really just want to see if we can enjoy it and we'll test out the venue and, you know, blah, 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 blah. All these justifications. But I just wanted to craft. I didn't want to have to teach all weekend. Um, and so I worked it out. There were no, like, teaching costs included or anything like that. It was just the cost of the retreat. And, and it was just like, like, and all the catered food. And anyway... I was sort of sitting there a bit nervous. Day one, I was a bit nervous. I was like expecting people to be like, okay, what are we doing? And everyone was just like, right, I'm going to be doing this. It's like someone would yell out, I need to learn how to do a thing. Can someone do this? And next thing you know, three people would be over there teaching them how to do it. We had Melissa learn how to use her support spindles that she'd been holding onto for ages. And now she is spinning up a storm. Talia learned how to spin on a spinning wheel. You know, like there was just lots of like little things going on where people could just help each other. And I love that because we all have expertise at something. We all of that next step past somebody else at something and to be able to share that reinforces it in our own brains, but it also helps somebody else as well, which I loved it. Um, so I learned that dance oh the chicken dance oh my gosh that was torture kim decided that she was going to include a game into our music playlist so what we did was we made a spotify we kim made a spotify playlist for that everyone could share and everyone who attended the retreat could add in songs so everyone had music that they liked and we had it playing just quietly mostly over the weekend of the retreat and also people could listen to it on their way driving up because it was like an hour and a half out of Brisbane. They're driving up, getting into like the retreat mode. And Kim added the chicken dance into the playlist like 20 times and created a game and she bought a prize and everything. And it was just like, by the end of it, we were all just like, oh my God, chicken dance. So now I can't hear chicken dance and think of a happy thing. Thanks, Kim. You ruined chicken dance for me. Anyway, I'm sitting here like going on and on and on. I look, I've got some stuff I've got to get done and I hope you don't mind, but I've got to price my clover orders that have come in. Like there's two separate orders that have come in over the last couple of weeks and I can't pack them into the stock because they're not priced. So they're bugging me. They're just hanging around in their little boxes. So I hope you don't mind, but we're going to be pricing some stock while we, while we chat today. Hmm double camera oops push that out of the way so we're going to start with our chibis which which size are this three one twenty ones now the other thing is i don't remember the prices of everybody mousy moo you are back yes you are it's been ages all right so i'm just going to look up the price because i don't know what it is three one two one is the tapestry dining needle just chibi darning. No, I want the orange ones. Orange one. Chibi tapestry is orange. Okay. Well, it says I'm out of stock. I'm not out of stock. I might have to write a list because not out of stock. I've got five of them. Um, I think it's five. One, two. Yeah, I got five. My screen changed. Oh, it did too. Sorry, bumped the thing. Whoops. Um, so we're just going to price, but I might have to, you know, write in a list. Okay, let me, let's just, I'm just going to throw the rubbish on the chair behind me. So 10, 50. What are you? You're empty. Go away. Don't need you. Okay. All right, so you guys have been working on your knitting. I went to get lunch and a prezi for a one-year-old. Nice. Where are you? Floundering sounds more interesting. <laughs> the great debate was if the chicken dance plays in the hall without Kim being there, has it really played? I know. Because the thing was, okay, this was the rules of the game. Right, so the rules of the game were if the chicken dance played, we all had to jump up and start doing chicken dance. All right, 
And the last one to stand was knocked out. Sorry, the last one to stand up was knocked out. And the and Kim worked out over the weekend who got up the most and who didn't. I don't know how she worked it all out. I think she just had a guess personally. But yeah, so we had to keep jumping up to do the chicken dance. And it was so many, so many things. Oh, you're in New Zealand. Of course you are. Which is explains why you had lunch at 10 o'clock in the morning, Australia time. Because it's not. Um, do I have any elastic bonds? I do not. Oh, let look. I do there. Let look. I'll just, oh, I'll just knock things on the ground. Which I should have more than. I found an elastic band. So sweet ass brew. Okay. Crunch, crunch, crunch. So, chicken dance exercising. Yeah. I want to go back to New Zealand. Oh no, that was on. That's dead. That's a dead one. Okay, let's just keep going, shall we? All right, three three nines. I I may have look. I may have placed a chagu. Uh, not chagu. I may have placed a clover order from memory <laughs> of what I had in stock, forgetting I had an entire box of stuff just sitting there waiting for me to price it. So, you know, if you need green chibis, <laughs> I've, I've got a few. I've got a few. Um, three, three, nines are the darning. There we go. So, yeah. Did you get more pink beads? I don't, no, I haven't gotten any more beads yet. I've only got what's in stock. Um... I've got to put in an order. The problem being that my bead supplier is in the USA and they haven't been shipping to Australia. So it does make it tricky. All right, look. Look at all these green chibis. Hello, green ones. All right, um, $8.50. Is your autofocus on? It's tripping out. It shouldn't be on, but I will check. Brio Craft, configure the video. It is on. Oh, okay. No, no. Oh, hello. That's quite bright. Yep, that'll do. Hello. Um, yeah. So I had everything all set up. I had to do a system reboot, and then that would have done this. So sorry about that. Um, you omit the squat and just just. Oh, I've missed something there. Um. Each colour is a different size, right? Each colour is a different thing. So the blue ones are big chunky ones, but they're bent tips. These green ones are three different sizes in this pack, but none of them are bent tips. They're all sharp tips. The yellow ones are three of the, two of the same size, one of a different size. Is that right? Or are they all the same? Um, and they're all bent tips. I think, yeah, there's... Two are the same size and one slightly small. Small. Let me just read here. Um, yeah, so there's two number 15s and one number 17 is how that works. Um, so, yeah, and in this one we have a number 13, a number 17 and a number 20, but they're all straight. So they're all a bit different. So if you check out on the website... In the photos, it shows you all the tips and it should have all the, inf should being the operative word, have all the information that you need to um, make your decision. But there's four different colours and they're, they're for four different things. So just keeping an ear out because I'm expecting Australia Post delivery today because I bit the bullet and did some shopping online. And bought myself some exotic athletica clothing. So, and we'll see how that goes. They were having a big sale, so I thought, okay, I'll give them a risk for 40% off. Um, the other thing I saw come up in my Facebook shopping feed, thanks Facebook, um, is Snag Tights have changed their branding to just Snag. And they're going to start bringing out clothing which will be very interesting. I'm very interested in their t-shirts because if they can do for t-shirts what they did for tights, I'll be very happy. Um, 
I need to wash some fleece, but it's pouring down and Snoopy will probably try to eat it. Like, based on what Louis did this morning, that's a pretty well a guarantee um, that they will, unless you can get it up out of their reach. Um, and it takes a really long time to dry when it's raining too. It's tricky. It's tricky. Um, hopefully with my new job I can knit and spin a bit more. I hope so. I hope so because it's the thing, right? Like we work to pay our bills and all that kind of stuff. We don't, most of us don't work because we love to work, right? I mean, if, if, if I got to do what just the bits I love of Fiberific, all I would be doing is knitting and crocheting and spinning and dying for myself, right? But because I run as a business, oh, I'll, I'll also be YouTubing because I love YouTube. Um, but because I run as a business, I'm pricing stock, I'm ordering stock, I'm doing tax. Ugh. Um, and all the other things that happen when you run a business, which, you know, yucky, the yucky jumbo dining, so it should be blue. Um, yoink, tea time. Not all my ideas are the best. I mean, no. I'm just going to go with no. Mm. Okay. Uh, these are 850 as well. Just squish them over there a little. Um, I'm just... My yarn might end up self-dyed free. Yeah. It may. It may. I'm really like, I'm sitting here now. Like, oops, sorry, camera angle. Whoops, boot. Come back here. There we go. Um, I'm sitting here now, like, freaking out that Louis inside, like, trashing things. Like, he hasn't done that in ages. And then this morning, it was just insanity. Bye, Kerry. Have a great day at work. Okay. 3168. So the poipal ones. Poiple. So these ones are for lace weight fabrics and yarns. Yoink. I'm, I, that's actually really therapeutic just throwing that over my shoulder. I mean, I'm going to have to clean it up later. Like, it's not like I'm, you know, I'm not saving myself no time. Snoopy is asleep, so it's mummy time. Yeah. Bring it. Geez, I've got some chibis. <laughs> Anybody need chibis? Honestly, but I'll, I'll, I'll have lots ready for the crochet guild stall for you, Kim. And, um, and Bendigo, it, it's, looking, it's looking more promising. I got a phone call. So Bendigo is definitely happening. But the working out of who is actually attending at Woolcraft seems to be taking a bit longer which is a little frustrating, I might say. But, you know, it's just how these things roll now. We have to be patient. Oh, yeah, Kim, for all your Fiberific merchandise, hello, if you would like your own Fiberific mug. <laughs> just try not to spill the tea dregs. And I've just remembered this is going to be really hot, so I'm going to have to just get that in there. So I got I have a so organized this morning. I had the T2 stuff going. It was great. And then bam. Um, what do you call it? Three, three, three. Alright, we've got a couple of our Oh no, what are they called? They're called Quick Lock. Because even though I call them sheepy stitch markers, I've called them like their legit name on my website. So I can't just Google sheepy stitch markers you know um what am i doing quick i'm not googling sorry in the search bar of my website so that i don't have to you know go hunting for everything there they are hello um will the number of stalls be fewer at bendigo this year for social distancing i have no idea rose hip I have zero idea whatsoever. I would assume you would need to do something. Um, 
I don't know. Um, Freaky's saying that um, that anything that requires a large group is already cancelled. Yeah, Woolfest is happening in New Zealand, so that's awesome. That would be great at the end of May. That's so exciting. That's so exciting. Mixed with a case, fifteen fifty. Oh, sorry, I have like this thing where I just print out sheets of prices. So that's that's all I'm I'm giving out the right price. And I just fingers crossed hope I have enough of each price so I don't have to actually print more. Um because I don't use these barcodes, it's a good safe place to put the price so that we don't cover any special information. Um maybe they'll have security on the door of each shed with counters. And, and that's a problem Chaos Creator because they run at um, like everyone's volunteer can they get enough volunteers to do that job because that's a big there's a lot of sheds um, I'm looking forward to the big show yeah big wool show is happening so do you guys remember last year when we had um, when Bendigo was cancelled we had the big wool show instead where we did live streams and had virtual stalls and things like that and it was tons of fun well that has been confirmed that it is happening it's going to be running over uh, the first weekend of September um, details are on the big wool shows Instagram page and Facebook page and I should probably share it onto my page eventually which I will but not now because you know I'm doing other stuff all right like I'm busy um but yeah big wool show is a definite go this year which is great because it was a little up in the air as to whether it was happening or not um and it's definitely happening so that'll be in september so that'll give stall holders who are also attending bendigo time to recuperate from bendigo make some new stock and then get it ready for the big wool show um gail smith is asking do you have needle felting kits i don't i'm sorry no um, I will get there eventually. I'm slowly increasing my clover range, but I'm not there yet. Um, Yarn Dragon says, we're finally opening up here in Italy, but not sure about big gatherings. At least you can leave the house. Like, you're in Italy for a long time before you could even really leave the house properly. So, um, yeah. But, and this is the thing. Like, I've got some great fun things coming up. We've got the Crochet Guild's first, the Crochet Guild of Australia, their very first conference is happening in June. So I think that's off the top of my head, that's the first weekend of June. Um, and I'm teaching the um, a, a Tunisian Entrelac crochet spark cloth. And I'm also teaching a support spindling class. So if you want to come and learn directly from me, go and book in for those workshops. Um, and that will be tons of fun. So I'm up on the Sunshine Coast that weekend. Uh, and then in July, I'll be in Bendigo, fingers crossed. I'm assuming I'm still getting to go at this point, but I will get that confirmed by the end of this week. Um, so that is, um, we'll definitely be doing Bendigo in July. Uh, August, I'm going away on a sewing retreat. <laughs> um, it's also my birthday. And then September, we've got the Big Wool Show. So lots of stuff coming, which is fantastic. It feels really nice to be doing again. Um, Chaos says it's May the 6th here. That's right. It's because it's the 6th of May here. Um, what are these tools? These are, are you, if you're talking about these, these are the Clover pattern chart sets. So they're actually like, a, it, that's actually over there's two pieces it's mirrored on the other side and it's magnetic so you can put it on your printed charts and slide it up and down so if you've got a wider chart or a narrower chart you can you've got one for each um they're really handy so um i've got one and i like it that's why there's only two chart keeper um uh, pattern chart Maybe if I like call it what it's called again, rather than my invented name. I don't know why it was Chart Keeper. Chart. Like, let's just write chart. That should bring it up, right? Um. There we go. They have changed. I'll have to get some new photos because they're not the same prints as as the the website shows. They're the same sizes and everything like that. But they're not the um, the exact same. They're inverted. So they used to be light blue with a dark blue flower and light green with a dark green flower. Probably makes more sense that they're darker. Whoops. 2150. Oh, 
For a second there, I thought it didn't have a sticker. Oh, there you go. There's a little image of what it does on the back. Um, I love my ch Clover chart marker set. Kim mentioned them in the live and it was such a game changer for the mosaic crochet. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, Kim says I have some somewhere. All right. Back to the quick locks because we know how much I love these stitch markers. These are my favorite stitch markers for, for crochet. My favourite stitch markers overall, obviously, are my blinglets at five, that I make here at Fibrific, which was going to be the other thing I was going to do today, which I have just here, just in case I run out of stuff to price. Um, I need to make up more blinglets, so I won't glue them today, but I've got I've got all the tools to to tool them up. Um, but these these particular quick locks, the little sheep ones, the sheep. Um, I'm just seeing if I've got any, there we go, there's some, I'm just getting them all out. Uh, wonder clips. Is it weird that a fabric, like a yarn store, technically yarn store, um, has wonder clips? Because I love wonder clips. Small 3031s, 3030s, 3032s. Right, let's look the sheepies. Um, if these are left locking, does the do they unlock with that help too? God, I'm not gonna. I don't know. I don't even know. Are you trolling me? I uh, my brain can't cope with trolling today. Self locking. Ah, oh, no, they don't unclip by themselves usually. Um. All right, pricing. We'll start with the small, small ones. Eight fifteen. Well, we've got more than seven in stock now. Let me tell you. I'm just looking at the website. Website size like seven. Um, uh, smalls are eight fifty. Do I have another sheet of eight fifty? I don't. This is going. I'm going to have to print. Ugh. I'm going to run out of 850s. This is the bit that I didn't want to do. I didn't want to do that bit today. I didn't want to be doing printing. Blurg. That's how I feel about that. Blurg. You know, every now and again, there's like a noise word that's just perfect for a situation. Well, that's it. Blurg. Do you know what I love? Like, seriously, Clover, what's the go? Every Clover box I receive has got tape on one end. No tape on the other end. It's just as easy to open it. Like, oh no, we don't put tape on the bottom. It's exactly the same opening. <laughs> I don't understand. So noisy outside today. Someone is whippersnippering out the back. And they're prepping the no parking signs for the Wagga Gold Cup out the front. May need to shut the doors. Yeah, and headphones. I agree with Chaos Creator. Headphones. I am all for the headphones. So, all right, I'm going to have to pop some stuff in the printer because I don't want to stop. I hope that's okay. Um, I hope you don't mind. 850 price tags because I think all of these are 850 and so it's not like just a couple that I'm going to have to skip on. All right, let's open up. You see, this is the thing, right? This is my life. I'm in a go. I'm in the zone. I'm making a thing. And then I have to go and print something or, or make something else. I don't know why that came in so small. Come here. I cannot see. All right, let's go here. Fiberific drive. Open up the things. More label. It's on my OneDrive, you guys. It has to download. This is so annoying. I hope I don't have to sync a million files or it's going to really suck up the internet. 
I am running it. I double checked it. It's running. You big baby. Is it weird that I get angry at my computer? <laughs> oh gosh. All right. 8.50. Okay, let's run to the printer. That was me running. FYI, that was it. Two steps off camera. I got the sticker sheet in. Print. Printing to the correct printer. Are you, is, are you this one? Maybe that one. We'll find out. Print. Oh, um, so I, what did I get? I got a, uh, it's over there. Because I've been keeping it here and it's in the way of the camera. So I, re I pull it out of the way for live streams. Until I sort out something in the in the printery realms, um, I got a brother something. Hang on. No. <laughs> okay, so I got a little Canon, not a brother at all. A little Canon Pixma, um, eighty dollar jobby. I just wanted something that would just do the job that I wanted. I didn't want to invest in it. And ever since I've invested in it, the other printer has not played up. It's like it knows it's on borrowed time. So, yeah, it's really weird. It, like, it's been very good and not been, oh, until now. when I just did a test wipe, so they didn't heat, so I won't use those ones. That's fine. That's fine, Chantal. All right, we've got 8.50s. But it could also be because that was the first print of the morning and it's never good on the first print of the morning. I should probably just print another sheet, shouldn't I? Because I know this about the printer. It does not like the morning. Dear printer. Oops, here we go. Let's see if it was just because it was the first print of the morning. File, print, print. We'll see. That one's all right. Um, now you can learn to print and cut on your Cricut. Yeah, but I'm going to need to buy some inkjet print and cut sheets because I've only got laser print and cut sheets. So, yeah. <laughs> Game readers, I've offered my printer a trip to the road out the front, preferably with a truck driving on it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, yeah, and that was one of the things. Like, I wanted something I could print photos with, which inkjets are better for that. And because before the lasers, we had Canon uh, uh, multifunction inkjetty big thing. Um, every time we ordered toner for it, we got like 200 photos, which I kept, but none of them, they couldn't work in the laser. So I was getting to the point where I'm like, why am I even keeping these? I've laser printers now. Um, so it's really cool. Um, so I was able to do stuff for the retreat using all the photo stuff that I have had for like <coughs> six years or something. Um, so no waste, no waste. Yeah, that's better. Let's just we'll just ditch that one straight up. I won't even buy into the rubbish pile for you. Okay. 850s. Yeah, first print of the day is always always a bit meh. And I forget it nearly every day. Um it's like it really needs a good chance to heat up, which, you know, I don't blame it. It's a printer. Okay, this one had a rubber band. Yay! Um, yeah, that's enough just to hold them together. I don't need to 
cart them. Okay, next size, all the important things. Too bad you can't interchange the inks from the other machines. No, because one's one's toner and one's inkjet. But both my both my um laser printers, they've got the same ink, like same toners. So I can interchange between the two of those, which is great. So like the printer in the house as well as my work printer. So are we all good, still good here? I, I can't keep an eye on things. So if you guys aren't chatting, I, I don't know um, if everything is good. So everything is good. Are we all bored watching Chantel Price stock and talk about printers? Ooh, exciting. Let's watch a craft lady, Price Clover. <laughs> I do appreciate those of you that are still here sticking around and... And, you know, listening to me ramble about printers, so exciting. Um, Sally says, all good. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm so needy. I'm like, please tell me that the stream's still working. Normally, I would be using my phone to double check the stream strength, but it's currently hanging out the window on a... Thing to get the best signal strength for our live stream because the shed blocks out the well it doesn't totally block it out but it's very good at mostly blocking out the um, 5g signal that i've because i got 5g on my mobile and so yeah it's just i get worried that everything's crashed and burned and i don't know and i'm just sitting here talking to myself which you know also happens it also happens. Kathy says I'm crocheting my hats while listening to you. All is good. Thank you, Kathy. Um, I'm here, but not all there. I, I somehow agree with your statement. I don't, I don't know why. Um, you're keeping me company while I finish this shawl for my friend. Oh, that's awesome, Holly. I love hearing about things that we're making as gifts. So I'm doing some very selfish sewing at the moment. I've been taking photos but not um not sharing them just yet um and it is i'm making i saw this thing i'll have to find i'll dig out a link it's i'm doing it in the house so i don't have it on this one on this laptop um and it is they're basically <laughs> I've got like all these really big cutting mats that, you know, it's a Fiskars one that folds down into like triple and it's this long narrow thing that's quite heavy. But then I've got long cutting things like rulers and and then I've got like short square, like 10 inch square cutting rulers and uh, like all these pieces of equipment that um, fall down basically. And it's annoying. So what I've done is I found this really amazing lady on YouTube who does these walkthroughs on um, some sort of, uh, look, they're not a project bag. It's like they're a storage or a carry bag for these things. But it's a really nifty little design and I'm using up some yarn scraps to make them. And basically I'm going to put some hanging hooks on the back of my craft room door and just hang these bags off there. And then everything will be up off the floor, not falling down um because at the moment i kind of have them all like standing up stacked and if something happens like say louis runs past he knocks one out and they all just slide out um so i'm making these like I've, i'm making two to start with one long and skinny one and one shorter and squarer one and then i might make a third depending on you know if i need one um and so I'm taking some photos and some video like as I go and I'll make a I'll make a reel or something for Instagram um, on my process of using this thing um, and see if I like it. We'll see how it goes. But that's what I'm working on at the moment. Well, that also my vivid blanket, I pulled that back out again the other night. And I'm still working on the crochet one, but I needed a little break from crochet because I've been doing a lot of crochet and my hands were... You know how your hands know when you've been doing a lot of something and you go to pick it up and they're like, yeah, nah, we don't want to do that one today. Not today. Do something else. So I picked up my knitting, which they, I was like, oh, this is great. 
um yeah it was just cool it was fun i'm just like i'm just having a sip of my tea while i decide which box to get next kim says i have two of the ikea lid stand side by side and the rulers are in the slots but where do you have them like on the floor or on a on a table or something because for me no table space no floor space at the moment in the craft room because it's still trashed um and so i'm looking at ways to get things off the floor um so yeah it's but i do like those ikea lid things i use them out when i'm in the dying area they've got all my lids for the pots out there um garden hooks from the reject shore work well for door hanging bags yeah, I, I get, like, are you talking about the S-hooks? Um, like those little S-hooks? Because, yeah, they, they work all right. Um, they, I can't shut my door with them over the door, though. Hang on a second. I can hear a vehicle. Okay, guys, I'm going to pop you on the do on the be right back because I think a career is just arrived. I'll double check. I'll be quick. career next door is getting some mulch delivered they'll have fun with that um it's on the top of the drawer unit at the craft tab oh yeah um you can get hooks that sit flush against the top of your door yeah i've got i've got some for abby's room i'm going to get some for the craft room um yeah kim's talking about gate crashing good good luck kim good luck oh you've got locking what have we got here size 4 crochet hooks I didn't look at all these things oh. more things all these things I've still got a price I have to say you guys these Sashiko long needles right these these very glary you can't see it they're great I've been using them um, I mean obviously they're for embroidery and things like that but I've been using them to do my, um, what do you call it? The, the, the fusion blanket. And I'm loving it. I had someone comment um, that I should probably be using a shorter needle. But I haven't been able to find a shorter needle, right, with um, the large eye to put in a four-ply cotton that has a sharp tip. So, yeah, I just I like these. Um, I need to get some for the bathroom door. Hang my towels up instead of dropping over the bath. Yep. Game where does PM to link over for door hooks? Yeah, I, I've, I've got I've got some I'm gonna get. Um. Okay, so let's let's go here. Sashiko. Can I even type? Can I spell? I don't know. Oh my gosh. Oh, Sashiko. S A S H I oh okay. The answer is no I can't spell. I spelled it with a K instead of a C. Sashiko. Try again. I tried again and she tried again. Hmm. There we go. A six dollar fitter. Um, just trying to not cover the important informations that we require when people are looking. So if you're going to a craft show, like say you're going to, like I know not everybody here are crocheters, but I'm trying to decide 
which stock to make sure I've got plenty of to take to the crochet heel, right? Obviously crochet hooks, but there's going to be other vendors. So they're going to be thinking the same things, right? Crochet hooks, of course. Um, but I just like something out of the ordinary that crocheters love. Um, I would love some brain feeding from you guys. That's the word, right? Brain feeding? No, there's a word for it. I don't even know. What day is it? I don't even know. I mean, it's got to be Thursday, right? Because I'm live streaming. Unless I'm live streaming on a wrong day, which could also be happening. So, you know. Wonder Clips. How many Wonder Clips have I got? You are Wonder Clips. You are Wonder Clips. You are Wonder Clips. Let's do the Wonder Clips first because it's a big pile of stuff. No, you're rubber timbles. Okie dokie. Choose an option. Red small ones. Um, brainstorming. Brainstorming. Yes, thank you. That's the word. All right, hang on. I've got to make a list. Um, yarn cutters. Is that like scissors? <laughs> um, gauge squares. What is the rainbow tool? Oh, um, they're just they're little wonder clips. They're all individual, but they're in rainbow colours. Like so, basically, it's the same pack as that, but instead of just all plain boring red, they're rainbow ones. So yeah, gauge squares, stitch markers that double as progress keepers. Do you know, you guys? I've got the window open the merest crack. I can hear the entire conversation that these guys are having out here. I hope you can't. Um, yeah, I figured you meant the pendant. Um, uh, measuring tapes, tool pouches. Um, tote bags, love tote bags, um, yeah, okay, cool, cool, all right, red, let's start with the red ones, um, $11 box. I've just got to tidy this up. It's going to do my head in. Um, I love these ideas. These are all a bit out of the ordinary. <gasps> badges. I could make some new badges. Something funny. Because see, this is the thing. Like in Australia, a lot of us have the same suppliers. So just getting more of the stuff from the suppliers is... Um, do you have any ninja yarn stitch markers? I don't. I don't. But I like that idea. I've got a friend who gets some made. They're like little circles with her logo on them. And they're cute. And I do like them. So I can imagine... See something that you can make and then sell. Yes, absolutely. It's something that not everybody can get their hands on. Clover has a swatch rule, a needle gauge thingy. Yeah, so does um, Chow Goo. Where's the Chow Goo one? I've got one here. Hang on a second. I'll grab the Chow Goo one. Let's see if that's what you're talking about. Chow Goo have this one. I'm just seeing if I've got something knitted or crocheted to lay flat underneath it I know that's just going to put on the entire display so let's go. anyway this is the, the chow goo one is that what you're talking about
there so I don't get it mixed up. Um, what about a show bag? A tote bag with a badge and any essential tool that you think we need. Um, I like the idea of a show bag, Deb. Um, I do. Because I had fun making the bags up for the retreat. But I don't like I know that I know that um, people attending the conference get a conference show bag. You could design a fiberific conference logo for the bag. I would probably just go with a fiberific logo with fiberific.com.au under it. I don't know. Because I'm boring like that. Um, hook storage, project bags. Oops, project bags. Oh, sorry, I'm trying to write all this down. Um, Freaky says, I was going to try making keychains, but that has not worked out. Kim, we both need, we both need conference shirts because I'm teaching like every day. So I would love to be able to be wearing something fiberific y like something quirky on the front but then with like fiberific.com.au just across like the middle of my back so when I'm walking away you know um key fobs using the yarn ninja fabric I mean that would be great if I could get that fabric in time but there's no way I can get it in or at least I don't think there's any way I can get it in um, in under like two weeks because I need time to make it as well um I mean, some of this stuff could work for Bendigo. I mean, I'm like, I can't do it in time for this show, but I could do it in time for other things. Um, what am I doing here? I have to keep pricing. You guys, my brain's buzzing now. You're coming up with all these amazing things. I've got to do, I've got, I've got once, I'm also limited physically what I can do. My legs haven't been very good. So standing for any amount of time has not been, a clever move um, at the moment it's just not letting me what happens is I'll stand up and I'll be doing something and then all of a sudden my knee will just not be connected to my leg anymore so that's not been my funnest my favoriteest at the moment yarn ninja with a mortar board what's it what do you mean like that hat I don't understand why would they need a hat um, And I was chatting with Claire yesterday, like Bob Wilson, one, two, three. She's so excited. She's also teaching at this event as well, which is exciting. All the excitements. Um, the red ones are done. Then I want um, neon green. Bam, over the shoulder. I'm totally going to regret that later. There's going to be just this pile. Yarn Ninja acrylic key rings. You could do, use your cry cup. So those of you on who went on retreat, you know how you got your little lapel pin Yarn Ninja? I've got more of those. We could, we could definitely have some of those. Um... I don't have them out here. I can't show them. I had to keep them inside so I wasn't tempted to show anybody. My badge makers, by the way, I can buy the things that I need to make little tiny key rings. I could do that. Key rings. Badge. Inserts. I should get some to trial. I've got to buy some new big ones I used up most of my big ones for the retreat hey John O'Brien welcome to the chat your internet's not happy neither is mine it's being it's actually been very good we have to go Wi-Fi like uh, not Wi-Fi hotspot off my mobile um that one landed on the floor um yeah we had to go to hotspot off my mobile because it was all Crashington's where you don't have any upload speed oh 
So I don't know what's going on there. Do you know what? I'll probably plug it in after live stream. It'll be perfect. It's what it's what usually happens. Um, little fiber packs for your spindle class. I have already. I am in talks with our favorite fiber supply here at Fiberific. The amazing Wendy Beer is putting together some amazing little fiber packs for us. So they will be available. Um, but I th I'm not sure if we've 100% finalized everything. Yeah, I think we have. I think she's just putting them together now. So, yeah. John needs to reboot his Roku. Okay, John, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> mm. Sally has four different types of fibrific badges. I think Kim might have you beat. Um... John, just so you know, what we're doing is I am utilising the fact that you're all here and love crafty things to work out what sort of stuff to put on my store for some of my upcoming events that are a bit different and a bit out of the box. You can't just buy it at Clover or something like that, make it a bit special. Um, pens. Lindsay, you're up. I have to order more pens because I am out. I think I have to choose a new colour because I love these ones. Um, I've still got plenty oh, oh, plenty that I'm in the middle of using, so they can't be given away. I love these yellow with the purple um, fibrific, and I've just given away the last of the purple with the white fibrific on them. So I need to get another batch made up. That's an excellent idea. Love pens. Um, how come it's not purple? Because this one's not. I've got I've got a dark blue, the, like it's a blurply bluish similar. But I'm limited because I like these pens. Like I like to, the actual weight of them and how they write. So I like this particular brand of pens and they only come in limited colours. Some of the pens that you can buy and get printed up come in like 150 colours. This one comes in 13. Um, so I am limited. But I'm going to work on the Fibrific Rainbow. So I might do light blue next if I can get a light blue one. Um, yarn Ninja shot glasses. Oh my gosh, I would love that. Lose it, yarn chicken. Take a shot. Drop a stitch. Take a shot. <laughs> I don't know how kid friendly that is. Not that I care that much, but I think that's awesome. I'm always surprised at um, what can be put on shot glasses and that people just love. Um, so the Fibrific mugs on your website, do you have them in stock or do they ship from somewhere else? They ship from somewhere else. So what I could probably do is order a couple and have them um, have them on the on the store. Um, swift beads. Swift. Swift. Oh, gosh. SW. I-F-T. Deutsch. Um, blinglets with clasp crocheting. But look, this is the thing. The second you add those clasps, they're no longer um, as... They become bulky. And it kind of defeats the purpose. Like, if you're going to have a clasp, have... I don't know. Like, does anyone really want a clasp with a circle on it with a bead on the bottom? Like... Do you know what I mean? It, it kind of, I don't know. Like, the answer is probably yes, really. Um, yeah, Deb D, why don't I have a pen? Don't know. There should be one in your bag. Um, so in the loot bag, in the blue bag, in the loot bag was all the fibre fix stuff. So, you know, it should be there. Swift beads 1750 you know what i'm not a hundred percent certain that i think these are worth i'm just trying to find somewhere to put this price sticker um i'm not a hundred percent certain that i think these are worth this money but that's just how much i have to charge that's going over the address of clover sorry clover i don't want to cover anything else um i it's two in the pack. They definitely work. Um, I don't know. I'm also stingy. And I'm, I look at it like I could just use a crochet hook. 
So, because I don't pre-string. So this is awesome if you're a pre-stringer, I suppose. Which is, uh, that'd be the difference. I don't pre-string my beads. And, but if you're a pre-stringer, then this would be better. Because I just pop a couple on a crochet hook at a time. The method I use. Kim does not like pre-stringing. I don't like pre-stringing. Every time I've had to do a project where it pre-strung, I've either ended up with like a knot or the yarn broke and all the beads end up everywhere or I've had to do like a colour sequence and I've botched it. Like, I'm just bad at stuff, okay? <laughs> like, that's just how it is. I'm just bad at stuff. Rubber thimbles. Helps if you can spell. It's helpful. I'm really over enjoying that. I know. It's just like, ah, the, like the chair is trashed. <laughs> chair is trashed. Um, 10.50. Sorry, what are they? Oh, okay. So these are Swift Beads. They're a tool for adding beads to your yarn. Um, for And like they've got a really big eyelet. Um, and you can just pop them in and, and they grab the, the beads out of your jars or your bags or whatever. They've got like a little, think of it like a fine fish hook. It's very flexible. It reminds me of like guitar strings. And, and it just, yeah, it works for adding the beads on like, and you just sort of poke it up and down inside your little um, tube of beads and they just load up really easily. But because I'm not a pre-stringer, that's probably where the issue is. Da, 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 da. I'm just going to put it over the address again. That worked. Straight over the address. Does anyone need Clovis Manufacturing Address? Nope. They can Google it. Excellent. <laughs> um, there we go. Rubber thimbles. No elastic band. No. Okay. Alrighty. On to... The last thing is, yeah, it's a barb, like a fish hook barb thing. Um, and they get stuck on the thing. Yeah, I should maybe do a video or something about them. I would need really hands up close because it's very fine. Um, Yarn Dragon says, I was not successful at beadwork and crochet. Huh. Jen wants a pen. Jen. We'll have to see what we can do. I've, I've got to order some more in. So, um, yep. Yeah, definitely we'll, we'll order more pens. I actually got an email the other day, like from the people who I get the pens from, just going, hey, how's it going? Do you need more pens? And I'm thinking, no. Nah. And then I'm like, I need pens. I didn't reply. Um, I probably should reply because it's kind of rude. But I'm catching, I've been a bit behind with my emails been a bit behind with everything when you plan things out based on you know um physicality and then you just can't do the physical things and you need more sitting time in your life it's very frustrating to say the least and i'm very and i and i know that i've got things way better than lots and lots of people like i'm not trying to diminish anything um but i'm frustrated because i had all these plans in place and the plans are now out the window okay cove cable stitch holders which ones have i got in here because clover make a couple oh good excellent i'm glad i ordered these ones because i'm out i'm like legit out i've got six of them now not out anymore woohoo um, okay, eight dollars. Eight dollar box. I really at some stage need to go through and double check that I, because I just quite often do this, just add the price that it already is on my website and don't check to see if they've done a price, excuse me, a price increase, because I don't, look, 
I don't always increase my prices when I'm supposed to. Because A, I don't like doing it. I really don't like doing it. And B, I don't, I don't want to do it. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to increase my prices. But then every now and again, it gets to a point where you're just like, hey, honey, you really need to do something about the pricing sitch. Um, Steph did a video a little while back. Oh, that's right. She did, didn't she? Because she got some in. Um, <laughs> Sally likes her pen. Awesome, Sally. I'm glad you like your pen. Okay. All right, so some of this stuff that we're adding in, it feels very merchy right not a bad thing but like except for the cups like the pens and things i've always added into something for free so would i just stick those in like if someone or like buys a certain amount of stuff just toss a pen in the bag or or what do i i, I don't know because i mean these aren't cheap pens is the problem is that they're not like 20 cent pens they're like five dollar pens so yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Um, Freaky Geek says just the one video. Oh, maybe it was more than one. Because I know she did a video where they hadn't arrived. Chaos Creator says sometimes people want to buy something little to support you but don't need more tools. I get that. I understand that. Because I do the same thing. Like, I'll be at events where I want to just make sounds silly but a token purchase um and i'll buy badges and pens and things like that that i use all the time okay i can see how that would work all right i could yep yeah. i just feel weird fiberific pens five bucks <laughs> it feels weird um yeah i don't know She got the box in the mail with no tool and then weeks later got the tool. That is weird. That is weird. But I do remember something along those lines. Point protectors. We're nearly, we're nearly through the pile, guys. This is the last of the pile. So ORS. Yes. Point protectors. Are you going to dye a special colour for the conference? I would love to say yes, but I'm not 100% certain at this stage of how I'm going to be going dyeing wise. Um, yeah. I am not 100% certain yet. I would love to say yes, but I'm, one thing I am doing, okay, um, which I have committed to, is I will be dyeing up a sunshine yellow colour donation um, that I'll be giving to them so that people can have like oh, and I'll be boiling it up it's a DK soft yellow for people to be making um, things for the uh, what do you call that thing again the art installation that they're doing so I wanted to make sure that that was happening um, so I'm definitely I'm dying some yellow for that um, but at this stage, that's all I have committed to. Just because I've got other dying commitments I need to get done. And I need to do them. And I need to, the second I have dying energy, I need to get them done. They are first. So, yes. That's where I'm at. But yeah, me and dying is not, not going great at the moment. So, I, I, I love making yarn. I really do. And I kind of miss it at the same time. But I also have to be realistic. I need to dye stock, absolutely. And mystery lace pom. So then they're still not all done yet. Um dying energy sounds wrong. It does rather, doesn't it? But you know what I mean. Like the like it's a fit it's because it's so physical and I've got to be on my knees. Well not on my knees, but on my legs, which means I'm using my knees. Like believe it or not, sitting in this chair. Is pulling on my knee so I'm gonna be sore later on so 
yeah, I'm, I'm not, I'm not enjoying this phase at the moment. Um, the lace club is technically finished. Um, there's a couple of months that are late and they, the members of the club, um, they, um, know that it's late. So, and they know why. So, um, it is closed and no one else can join, but there are still people waiting, waiting on things. Does that make sense, right? Um, I think I need new glasses, just changed position and can't see the chat. Ah. Jen says, nothing wrong with selling a pen with your name on it, no different than a mug. I will try and think of it that way, Jen. I don't, but I don't put the, t like, mug, I'm like all four. Like, you guys go buy your mugs off, you know, Redbubble. You've got some choices and choose your shape and the pattern that you like. Whereas, I don't know. I don't know. But you're right. But you're right. It is no different. Um, nearly done. Nearly done with, well, not not with you guys, with this task. Um, locking stitch markers. I literally clicked in there. Locking stitch markers. Um, dying alone sounds wrong. Yeah, it does sound wrong. So we have got some amazing suggestions in here, honestly. I love some of these. I love all these ideas. It's just I'm going to try and work out which ones I can get done in three weeks and then which ones I'll need more time for because I think they're all great ideas. Some of them I can do faster than others because some of them are sitting jobs. Some of them are just ordering them and getting somebody else to do the work. Um because that's legit. Anything new from Chowgary? No, nothing new at this stage. Um, I think, yeah, no, I haven't seen any press releases or anything. So, because that's always nice. I, I do normally have something new. But what happens is Chowgary normally develops new products for um, the TNNA. Like there's a, a needle craft thing and they develop the new products, um, new products for that. And then, but because all that's been cancelled in the US, so they I, they probably just haven't been there. Um, Lindsay says, I think you could offer the pens for sale, but also add a sign that says such and such price or free with a specific dollar purchase. That sounds, I like that idea. Hey, Kim, I call not it on what? What are you calling not it on? Just, just to clarify, like everything, or because Kim's Kim's coming up to work, Kim's Kim's ma managing the store while I'm teaching. Good job, Kim. Thank you. Um, actually, do you know what? I don't even need to look these ones up. I know they're eleven fifty. I call not it. I don't even know what to say about that, Kim. I know they may buy more just to get the freebie. That's how I function. And you need to have tote bags for sale for people who forgot their for shopping. Oh, I call not it for the boring jobs that, you, that you're going to offload. No, no, I meant like the pens where I order them from the pen person and, you know, like that. Like not like, hey, Kim, please make 70 billion of this boring thing. Well, not boring, but boring to make thing. I wouldn't do that to you. Do you want to make totes? <laughs> I've got to order in more totes. I've got none here. So should we make the totes a particular color? Okay. So um, I'll have to do some research. Like I've got, I've got, I've already used yellow and we had the really nice, just natural, but should we make the totes a fun color so that they stand out when people are carrying them? Like, Yellow, go the yellow ones. The yellow ones are really bright. I like them. Um, but I, I'm going to be really honest. Like the totes that we made up for, or we, I made the totes. The totes that I made up for um, the Fibrific Retreat, Kim said to wash them before I cricketed them, right? So I washed them 
And then I had to, um, but they were like a real butt to iron to get them flat enough again. So I think I'm going to be really just crappy and just not pre-wash all the totes that I get from the printing company that I get my totes from. Is that bad? Is that, that's bad, isn't it? And especially now that I've said it out loud and you all know. <laughs> but like, you know, no printing company pre-washes them before they they use them, right? They just, I don't know. <laughs> um, can you get fabric that changes colours as the lights hit them? I used my heat press. Like I used my presses and stuff, but they, like I, they would, awkward like maybe the yellow ones will go better but the 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 calico ones were just they were butt faces to iron like they took ages and that was 20 like i i plan to make more because what we don't use at crochet guild i'll use at bendy or i'll try to use at bendigo um and no i don't i don't know about the fabric that changes colors as the light hits it from different angles sounds awesome um, I know that I can get cricket stuff. Calico is the worst. Okay. What I might do is I'll order in the yellow and I'll do a, I'll wash some to see. If you just get cotton, like the yellow ones, like the yellow ones, I'm, I'm, I can see a yellow one, but I'm like, hmm. Um, uh 11.50 I, I just need to put these stickers on before i get sucked in um so if i just get the yellow ones i don't need to worry about it so much is that what you're saying kim we never pre-wash the yellow ones that's right and they're fine they they're, they're fine they're fine <laughs> i'll see what i can do because the other catch is can i get them in time because they don't ship locally even though their website said that they do they lie they're full of lies all right that one can stay in its box we're done job done you guys are awesome for keeping me company while i had to do that job the calico tents have a weird stuff coating you're right it does and it definitely looked way better um it definitely looked way better. The issue is when they get washed, the vinyl might be sad. I can test wash one of the ones that we cricketed for the um, the Zoomy Blanket Group. I got a message, um, speaking of Zoomy Blanket Group, I was going through, because I was sitting at the service centre getting my car service, very bored, with, I had my laptop with me, so I was going through and checking um, some YouTube stuff. And I found all these... these um, YouTube comments that I hadn't replied to, which I thought I'd replied to, I try to reply to everything, but I obviously missed some. And someone was asking if we do another group blanket, like to let them know, because they want to do it. So we might think about if we want to do another group blanket, says Chantel and the other ladies who had, you know, they've been, half of them haven't finished putting their blocks together. But, um, but yeah, that could be something we could do in the future as well. Um, so what am I going to do for the last half an hour? Like, I don't know. I could make blinglets or something. I'll make myself some space. I've definitely made a mess, that's for certain. Over there, little things. At least everything's priced. I, I do need to go through and double check if it's on the website. But I won't do that while we're here are they local no they're not local that's the thing the website says that they're in australia but then they ship from the uk so no not not local um um there's something in the works <laughs> not that can do this game widows i don't think um but yeah so we've got we've got a good list here of lots of things so I'm going to do a big box around the pens because that I can organise really quite quickly. Um, oh, are they local? Uh, they're in Australia. They're not in Queensland, though. 
Kim bugged them a laugh and they could think that they're crazy. Like, oh, oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, no, there's they're in Australia for sure. Australia, UK, same thing. I was really frustrated because I thought I was specifically ordering from an Australian company. It was a .com.au. They talked about using Australia Post. I paid in Australian dollars. Everything had Australian addresses on it. And then when I got my shipping and it started tracking, I was just like, what do you mean it's going to take X amount of weeks to get here? And then the destina like the, 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 the drop-off point was in the UK. And I was just like, oh, come on now. I tried really hard to find an Australian business. So it's just like, Ugh. <laughs> So I'll just have to keep looking. So, I mean, but the thing is, I liked the quality. Um, so, yeah. Buy Carrie's down the rabbit hole. I don't even know what Louis is up to. It's been like an hour and a half or an hour and 45 of him inside by himself. And I'm like, he was inside. When I, look, when I closed the door, because he wanted to come out, when I closed the door, he just went and sat on the couch. So that's a good sign. He may have gone for a nap. He may have burnt all his energy destroying, like, pretty things. Seriously, guys, like, the last of the Equinox fiber, which is a 50% cashmere, 50% silk, is strewn across my lawn. And the very last ball, I had balled it. It was ready for me to do a project with. Louis got hold of the very last ball of pinwheel in the Eric Banner, uh, like in the Banner colorway. I don't even dye the Banner colorway anymore. And I don't, can't get pinwheel anymore. And that was just trashed. Just like so sad. Both things were just like things that... Oh, does like the fluffy things too much. <laughs> Rebecca's like, I miss Snowy. I miss Snowy. And I had to break it to my dad about Snowy yesterday and it made me cry. Um, But Snowy was just as bad with the fibre and the yarn when she was a pup. She was just as bad. If not worse, honestly. Um, The thing is that I've got a lot more stuff lower now than when Snowy was a pup. So now I'm, I'm, I'm just lifting, I'm tidying things and sorting things and making it so we can't get into stuff. And it's like having a toddler, you know, how you got to get everything above like toddler height when you've got a toddler or at least everything that they can kill them. Um, it's kind of like that. I thought you would have learnt by now. Oh, me too. Obviously slow learner, dummy. Dum I'm a dummy. Totally. <laughs> Mm. he's such a rat bag. Okay, so now that we've got this, this is the um, Chow Gu gauge square. Is that what you were talking about? Now that we've got a better camera angle for it. So we've got, um, that's the crochet side and that's a knitting side. So it's like the knitting side's got all like your different needles and it's got a great conversion chart on it and it's got a wraps per inch chart. Um, all little helpful information so, um, and it's really easy to use. The only issue I have with it is that they do the whole, it's a crochet hook gauge meter and Chow Gu make, they don't make inline hooks. Like their bamboo is inline, but their metal head ones aren't inline. So you can't use the metal head hooks in this. You can use your bamboo hooks, but not your metal head. So, um, Deb's new pup ate her slipper this morning. Oh, Louis tries to eat my Burks. Honestly, I am just like, what? No, bad. Um, and I've had to find a new place to put my Burks so he doesn't eat them because I love my Burks. They're my most comfy shoes. I wear them literally every day. That's why I was saying to, um, to Kim and some of the other ladies who wear Burks that we went and had coffee with, and I was like, when do I know if it's time to get a new pair? And they're like, no, no, yours are in, yours are in like the comfy spot. I was like, oh, okay. Um, so I, but I, I think I, it's like I need a second pair just to rotate them, if that makes sense. So I don't just destroy a pair and then have to wait, which is what I do to shoes. 
I am a shoe destroyer. I'm just looking around, seeing if there is something handy. I mean, I've got my spindle up there. I could spin, but I don't have a camera angle set up for it. I, th I honestly thought that was going to take longer. I really did think that was going to take a lot longer. Um, you guys chatting to me just kept me focused and got it done, which is just great. It was such a good feeling. Um, cats don't eat stuff. They just scratch the couch to death. Oh, oh, okay. So Tibbles, he's mostly grown out of it now that he's 14, but he still does it. All down the sides of our dining table chairs because all our furniture, um, all our like dining furniture is timber. Scratched so high up to all the way down the side of the hutch is all scratched. The sliding door for Tim's ensuite is we don't even it's off its runner because it's so scratched up that it's ruined. It's just yeah, it ruined. Tibbles is just like. Jazzy, she didn't do any of that stuff. Tibbles is just like, oh, I see you have a timber thing. Oh, now you have splinters. Ha ha ha. Here you go. Here's some shredded timber for you. Um, yeah. The one she's going to change the name of after last night's ch Oh, okay. All right. Tibbles the harpist. Yes, Tibbles is a harp player. We have crim safe on our windows and Tibbles sits on the window ledge clinking the crim safe and it resonates <laughs> sally says i can't have nice things i have a cat i've got a cat i can't have nice things i've got a cat and a dog and a, a tim and an abby they're gonna hate you for saying that out loud mm. oh, goodness me good tea good tea i'm glad i went with the tea option today um I, mean, I don't want to pull the blinglet stuff out. Is it alright if we just chat? Or do I need to pull out something to do? Because I will if I have to. I'll find something. Otherwise I'll just sit here and enjoy the conversation. Yesterday I, um, well, first of all, Tuesday I dropped the car in to get service. Well, I took the car in to get service and I sat there and I did some stuff while I waited for it because it was just its first, you know, waste of time service. Um and luckily they're free otherwise i wouldn't do them honestly um and then after that i went to east coast fabrics i may have purchased some very very cute fabric that was on sale for six dollars a meter um it is definitely um definitely good value in there i love that store so much oh gosh um and then i um then yesterday when i dropped abby off at school I need some I need some webbing to make handles for these these storage bag things that I'm making and um, East Coast didn't have any and so I didn't want to go spotlight so yesterday I dropped Abby at school and went to Tradway which is a really interesting fabric slash um, liquidator <laughs> of all sorts of crazy things like do you need a pool pump sure it's just past the lace on the left near the pile of leather <laughs> it's like what um and yeah so it's just like all these I, I got some webbing but it's really thin webbing so i think i'm gonna have to stitch it to be two two layers thick for it to be as strong as the other webbing that i've got that's in the wrong color um so i've got those to work on and then i have I'm skeining yarn ready for dyeing so the skein is going and it bips and then I pull you know I finish what I'm doing and then I go and set it off for the next skeins and yeah we're just going along getting all the tasks slowly ticked off so that I'm not broken for these effects do you have a project in the stormtroopers yet not yet um, I made a mask in the Stormtroopers, but that's as far as I've gotten. Tali's asking, did you think of a name for my new yarn pet yet? I have not. He's still in the house, actually. I've been clearing a shelf for him to sit on, um, but I haven't yet. So I, I, I look at him and I think of a name and then um, it doesn't suit. And then I'm like, no, no, I'll think of the perfect name. So he's, he's just Dragon so far. So he's just Dragon. Um, very, very original. Uh, I'm sure no dragons were called dragon ever. 
um, in the history of man. And so, yeah. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I, I, I'm looking at different things and I'm being inspired by different things. Oh, Chaos Crate, sorry, yes. No, I don't. I It's a, like there's still a crate of stuff packed and, uh, well, it's not the crate, it's the box with all the things for me in it. Like the dragon's in a crate and that's in the house and then there's a box and no, I haven't started any new projects. I've been good in that regard. No, no new sewing projects, sorry. But yes, now I know, sorry, I was thinking about my Stormtroopers fabric that's burning a hole in my pocket. Um, sorry, Game Widows. I'll get there. I'll get there. Um, I'm very slow at the moment is, is the problem in general. Like, it took me a week to unpack the car and get the stock back into the shack. And that's not even everything unpacked yet. Um, so the yarns are still packed up in, in the crates. I haven't resorted it out and double checked anything, which I should probably do. Um... But all the Chowgree stock's back on the shelf and the clover's back on the shelf. But that's it. Glad Dragon made it home without being kidnapped. I know. Like, I had to check people. Like, I had to basically keep checking he was in the crate. Like, luckily it was a clear crate and I could just check at a glance that he was still there. But, like, Tammy. Tammy was keen. Tammy was keen. She was going to steal my dragon. So Talia made me the most beautiful dragon. Um that's gorgeously crocheted and it's got like a wire body so you can spread its wings out and things like that. Deb has been cursing me or somebody else. And and if so me, why? What have I done? What what did I do, Deb? I don't I don't like this. Hurry up and type in your answers faster. <laughs> I don't like not knowing what I've done. I mean, I'll probably be like, oh, yeah, that, whatever, deal with it. <laughs> oh, husbands have the worst timing for calling. They do that. I had this time in the afternoon, right, where it's like, okay, I just chill. Like, I'm about to have to go and start making tea. Abby's sorted. Um... And just, like, trying to chill. And I just like to have this, like, little half an hour where I sit down with a cuppa. Abby knows not to bug me. But it just seems Tim rings me somewhere in that half an hour every time. She has been trying to detangle the skein she got. Which, which one of the ones did she get? Did she get one of the dumpster fire skeins? Because I could probably help, maybe, if I feel like it. Or not. Because, nah, don't want to. That's why they were dumpster fire skeins. So what we did at retreat was I have all the skeins. You know the skeins that we use for colour testing and technique testing. And, and sometimes they're just tangly uppy and, and, and they're just butt faces and I can't be bothered. So they just live here in a pile for ages until I suck it up and fix them or give them to somebody um or i over dye them and whatever like however it is that they normally get fixed last time they all got made into mini skeins um we did all those little mini skein packs well what we did this time is at retreat i set up the dumpster fire pile which was these couple of crates where everything was ten dollars per 100 grams it didn't matter what was in there um so people got some bargains. There are some great bargains in that in that bucket. Um, there's still some left. Um, they won't be going on the website. That's that. The whole point is I don't want to have to make them look pretty or take photos. That's the, that was the point. So they'll be available at, until they're gone. Um, either at uh, what do you call that show? <laughs> Crochet Guild or um, after after. Um, or for Bendigo, if I've got space. I don't know what's going on with Bendigo. I don't want to rely on it too hard. Um, yeah, Game Winners, you're right. It's always like when you're trying to unlock a door or, yeah, absolutely. I agree with you. It's like, it's like the worst time someone could ring you and you look down and it's them. And you're like, why don't you know? And it's like, how could they know? 
they're somewhere else. They don't know what you're doing right now. They don't know, you know, but you're still like, oh, what? <laughs> well, I mean, that's how I answer the phone. What? <laughs> what do you want now? Oh, my God. <laughs> I, I don't always answer the phone like that. Sometimes. Sometimes I answer the phone like that. Um, but, yeah, our Freaky's back. Hey, Freaky. So maybe I should call it Talia. I don't want to call it Talia. Because Talia is Talia. Kim, did she pick up the lace weight one? There was one, there was, there was a, um, uh, she don't think it's the phone like that. <laughs> Possibly. There are times, like, I'm like, what now? Or T. Oh, that was funny. Okay, so guys, if you were having to sort out room allocations for people at a retreat and there was someone whose name was Talia and someone who ran a business called Tea for Talia, would you not automatically want to put those two people in the same room? I mean, seriously. So, I mean, it's, it's, it wasn't beyond the realms, right? Like, who was surprised when that happened? <laughs> so, Natalie Power is Tea for Talia. And Talia shared a room at retreat because retreat, um, it's we try to keep it two people to a room, even though technically the rooms can take more, but I do try to keep it low so everyone's comfortable. Um, if I'm going to get messed up, why not mess everybody up? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh, wow. This catch in the chat you guys it's been so fun today um i am still a little not with it obviously obviously um but i really do appreciate you hanging on and keep me company while i get a job done that needed to be done for a really long time um some kind of spidey sense there is trouble lets them some kind of spidey sense there is trouble brewing let's ring them up yeah yeah that that's a, that's the a thing that's the thing oh my gosh oh well you know what i'm not going to find something else to do um i'm going to bail i'm going to call it quits it's i know it's a couple of minutes early um but i i'm my voice is going and i'm very tired is really what it's boiling down to it has been awesome and thank you all so much for jumping in and keeping me company while i priced stock which is not exciting and and brainstorming fantastic ideas um for to have on the stall at some of these events i love these ideas and i really i'm very keen to get rolling the pens is definitely happening like that's going to be like psh, like after I get off live stream, go and make some lunch and sit down with my feet up. I'm going to pull my laptop onto my lap and order some pens. So I'm going to catch you all later. Um, go and check out Instagram. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with reels. So if you could like my reels and watch the reels, I'd really appreciate that. They're like 30 seconds. They don't ramble on like this. I try to keep them short and snappy. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I will catch you all next week, hopefully. Fingers crossed that I'm still good and that my massage lady hasn't destroyed me and turned me into a puddle. So I'll catch you all later. Bye.